executive order that will make Americans who've lost their lives or been wounded by the new form of wealth or warfare, the mm -hmm. terrorism attacks that we have known and that seem to be continuing to make them all ever before the Purple Heart. And I want to especially thank Senator John Warner, whose idea this was. I think these Americans are very deserving of it. I should get it done. That's not, I thought we'd take him out of order. We, of course, because he was 85 years old, I thought it'd be nice to have him right. standing out waiting right. for him. Yeah. Right. What would you like to give to him? What would you like to give to him? We've got the, you know, we've got the belt buckle. We've got uh, that, you know, the, uh, the medallions and gold, silver, bronze. I thought if there's something special you'd like to give to him. He, had, he has a Western dress on. Huh? He has a Western suit. I was going to say he was a cowboy for three years. That's a belt buckle. Okay. See you again. Well, it's great, to, it's great to see you. It's a great honor for me to be here. I sure want to thank you very much. I'd like to meet you. Yes. Yes. Great honor. Well, I think that after several years in the horse cavalry, yeah. and I was in the horse cavalry also, yeah. but it was still horse cavalry. Good. And, uh, when you're in the police force and all, I, I think it's very proud that you should be. Thank you very much. As you know, probably know, I was with your brother out in California about every week we belong to a little group out yes, there. Yes, he's told me about that. Yeah. So I hope you can join us someday. I'd like to. <laughs> I, uh, I understand you belong to the Lanchier Business the Doors there. Oh, yes. Didn't you? Yeah. Yes. I wrote with him for six years. Yeah. And then Bustado came. 
Well, yeah. I, because of security reasons now, I can't ride with them I until I get out of this job. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing a very good job, I'll uh, say that. Thank you. And we sure appreciate it. I would like to uh, present this to you. This is one of my latest that we are doing, uh, making this wonder, uh, and I hope you enjoy it. It's too windy. I know you like horses. Oh, this is spotted horse. I don't know where if you like spotted uh, horses or what you like. You've got an air there. What's much, what's much more important is by looking around, you can see I like Western art. I know that, yes. And uh, incidentally, you may not have known it, but a few very gracious Christmas cards over the years that you have sent us are now framed and hang on the walls of our ranch. Very proud of that. I'm very do, happy, about and I sure love to do it. Yes, you know, as does the first painting that we you know, we bought from you. It's yeah, I remember it was done up in Montana on the uh, Diamond Yale Ranch in Montana. Yes. Yeah. Well, I certainly well, hope that someday you this, may be this able. This isn't to as attractive as the one that you're wearing there, but anyway, just as a souvenir for you, this is a Western-type belt buckle. Uh, has the White House on it. Whoops. And Buckingham. I make the box tops too tight. <laughs> but uh, it also says the buckaroo stops here. Well, <laughs> you're right. We've had the buck stopping here for a long time. I don't know about buckaroo stopping. Well, thank God, is that for me? That's for well, me. I sure yes. appreciate that well, very much, Mr. Yes. President. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, not. But I'm in my studio. You have a Ray Renfro bronze over there. I notice a Ray Renfro uh, bronze. Yes. Arizona Cowboy. And you've got a little Charlie Brooker. That's yes. Smoking up. And then an artist. That, these are on loan to me. These samples. Uh, an artist who just made this history of the Western Seven, twelve bronze. Oh yes. <coughs> yes. Come in. We need to get this. A good picture. Why don't you stand right in between the president and the president? Right. Right. Eighty-three. This is the shock of my life. Well, <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Well, well, thank you very much, Mr. President. It's an honor to be well, here. I appreciate it so much. Well, thank you for my lovely gift. Uh, <laughs> and may we have our picture taken? You certainly may. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you. I have to tell you, I know that I've got other people waiting out there, but I just have to tell you, I have it now that I believe you. I don't think many people know about the two boxes out there. Uh -huh. That is a train of us. Yeah. Yeah. This is the training camp and Betsy was training out in Montana. And he always carried wax with him. And Betsy was spotting in the ring. And he made this and he gave the wax to Jimmy Cash. And Jimmy just kept the gas in the dome of glass. And a friend of his, A.C. Lyons, just kept back and said, Jimmy, something should happen to that. It went through the floors and it's gone forever. So one day, Jimmy had 16 bronzes made of that. And that's one of the 16. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I know Jimmy Cash. He was a good friend of well, you know, I tried to be an actor too at one time. I was with John Wayne, and I did a spot in one of his pictures. And after I did his cameo, he tapped me back his shoulder. He says, as of now, you are a finished actor. I didn't know exactly <laughs> how he meant that. <laughs> you are a great man. Yes, really well. Right. Thanks Listen, again, thank President. You thank you so much. Give me a call. Are you here in Washington? Yes. Thanks again, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very glad that that was Captain Williams, all, sir. You see Edison, I mean the OIC, sir. Captain Gale, and you see also the officer in charge. Yes, sir. Cadet Chang, the assistant as editor. Cadet Alessandro is next to his editor. Cadet Sellers is the photo editor. 
Cadet Girard is the business manager. They have a presentation for you, Mr. President. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. on behalf of Classroom 3 and the Military Academy, I'd like to present to you the exhibit of the event in the house, Well, I'm very proud to have this, and thank you very much. So you'll find your uh, picture here. <laughs> uh, picture of Canada when you came up to, uh, for the commencement. Oh. Address in 1980. Well, thank you very much. I didn't know I was going to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. One of you, maybe the art editor? I uh, maybe don't have that position. You don't have that position. So these I can see you get pretty professional here. Because <laughs> I was the art editor. And uh, all I've ever been is a doodler. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, well, I'm very proud to have this. I appreciate you very much for bringing it here. Absolutely. Yes, so I hope you'll be able to do it. I will. Believe me. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Nancy remembers very well her one visit there. I spoke at the commencement our first year here, in which she wound up kissing all the graduating class. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so you're welcome to come up for the next four years. So very what's very that? Too. You're welcome to come up for the next four years to be the speaker. <laughs> well, I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoyed it very much. Sorry, yes. Congratulations. <clears throat> well, I have to find out, though, there's somebody tells me what I'm going to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very pleased. Would you like to step in for a picture of <laughs> <laughs> Want to do a group? Go ahead. Tell me, does the, does the senior, what would correspond to the final class or the next final class, what would be a junior class? For the, uh, so the class of 83, they finished approximately 65, 70 percent of the book. And then the, pre uh, the next class, which is the class of 84, we finish it up because uh, in the, uh, it includes graduation, graduation ball. Everybody. So basically the junior class finishes up the remaining of the book. That's the way it was back in my <laughs> <laughs> Since that time, Variety has helped me children of all kinds mm -hmm. and the handicapped. And, and uh, I know that Variety is the heart of show business. We are proud of our record. Mr. President, uh, Variety has become the largest children's charity in the world. We raised uh, over $25 million last year in about 40 different tents. We call it tents of yes, the groups. And, uh, but mostly we're proud about the fact that our overhead was only $194,000. Most of it was done by people <laughs> like <laughs> And um, we think it's very appropriate that uh, Mr. Snee, the chairman of our Lifeline uh, program, it's a program we started only two years ago. 
where because an international does not want to step up on the local charities which are handled by local tents, we have addressed ourselves to the problems of uh, some of the third world countries and their children. Uh, with the cooperation of the uh, North Shore Hospital in Manhasset and the Mercy Hospital in Des Moines, last year we had brought in over 300 children for open heart surgery. And what Mrs. Reagan did was two children. I think that's only how you say Good. Good to see you. That's good to see you. I'm delighted to get a chance. Move on, right? Let's go and be comfortable in those chairs. Okay. Uh, are these two white ones? Yeah. Oh, great. Well, yeah. Uh, this time comes. And it sure looks like you've made that idea come. Yeah. Well, you gave me the chance, and I, I really wanted to tell you how grateful I was for, for the opportunity to, to be the chairman, to take this idea that uh, you and, and Jack and Ed had, and make it into, it's, it is a living reality. Oh, that's just great. It's, uh, Breeze life in 176 congressional districts. This just after about seven months of work. It is a much bigger thing uh, and quicker than we could have hoped. We have key Democrat uh, leaders who believe in the Reagan agenda. Mayor John Collins, two-term mayor of Boston, Democratic Irish mayor. Governor Ed King, Democratic governor of Massachusetts. Key leaders for Citizens for America in Massachusetts. So. That's great. It's it's been a, a great inspiration for President, are you going to negotiate with the Democrats a reduction in defense uh, spending? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Prime Minister, are you worried about the economy of the world? <laughs> Have a good talk. <laughs> <laughs> 